Welcome back, everybody. Shereen Jones here with the Kansas Chamber uh, hosting our 2023 Kansas Healthcare Virtual Career Day. Thank you for being with us this morning. And we are now ready to focus on our next session, which is a career that is for someone who is, who is curious and likes to use technology to diagnose the problem. Uh, if, if that describes you, a career in diagnostic imaging could be the right path for you. The path at, uh, excuse me, the team at Ascension via Christie uses a little bit of detection and a whole lot of cool technology to show us what it, this healthcare career has to offer. When I was a younger child, I broke about three bones. And so going into a hospital setting as a young kid, I was really scared. And the first people that were really comforting was the radiologic technologist that helped me do the x-rays and kind of bring me back into a calming mode. A typical day as a red tech is we have um, a numerous amount of x-rays that we do normally, which would be chest x-rays from the ER, we do um, extremities from broken bones from children, from adults, and then as well as lumbar punctures where you draw CSF from, a, from a, the spinal cord. We do um, contrast studies where people drink um, contrast and we watch it as it goes down their esophagus into their stomach and then as well as their intestines. When you're a rad tech, every patient is different. You don't have the same patient. So every day is gonna be a different different day. We do different procedures every day. We do different exams every day. We do surgical procedures and we do um, in the in the department radiology imaging. After high school, I went to Butler Community College and I got my prerequisites done. And then after Butler, I went to Newman University. At Newman University, you will be doing an on-the-job training at Ascension via Christie. You come in and you work hands-on with the techs that are already accredited and have their license. And you pretty much do your whole day, eight hours there. You do on the job, you're hands-on with the patients, and you do the backwards, the computer work, and all of the imaging that is required. As a rad tech, my favorite job to do is going to be the procedures. I love being hands-on with the radiologist or the PA and assisting them in all the procedures that we do. I would encourage students to become rad tech because every day is different. We get different patients, we get different variety of what you do throughout the day, and then you also get to help with the radiologist and be hands-on with patients. Whenever I was young, I was very drawn to our animals. Um, I was one of those kids that always wanted to have pets, and so I kind of got started as a vet tech, and I worked in the veterinary field for about eight years. And then from there, I was looking for ways to expand into the medical field in other areas. So I started looking at medical technologies, and uh, diagnostic imaging was something that really attracted me. CT is computed tomography. It's what uh, used to be kind of classically called the CAT scan. And so uh, it's just a different form of x-ray. It uses x-rays the same way, um, but it does it in a way where it rotates around the patient and then takes all that information, runs it through some computer algorithms, and then you can recreate the patient's anatomy in three dimensions. That way you give the doctor a really good evaluation of the patient's anatomy and what's going on. Uh, for school, for the radiology program, I did a two-year associate's degree through community college down in Austin, Texas. And then for my CT certification, I did an additional semester on top of that. I did several clinical rotations over the course of my schooling. After the first semester, I had a clinical rotation the entire time I was in school for radiology and for CT. And so over the course of it, I went to, I think, six different hospitals. So I got to try a lot of different environments within radiology. Uh, what really surprised me once I got into the career of CT is just how much it's utilized. Um, doctors are using CT scans a lot more. It's replacing a lot of other exams. Uh, it's definitely a growing field with a lot of demand. I 
was interested in going into the medical field pretty much uh, from high school on. I originally thought I might go into a nursing program, uh, but I was inspired Inspired to look into an ultrasound program uh, from my mother, who was a sonographer. You know, typically when people think of ultrasound, they think of obstetrical ultrasound. And that, although that has a place with ultrasound, and, and we do do those, a big portion of ultrasound is looking at other things in the body. Vascular ultrasound, cardiac, uh, abdominal work. So a lot of it is dealing with patients that are sick and needing a lot of care. There's a lot of science and math involved. Um, there's a physics um, component to ultrasound, um, which you actually have to take an, a board for. And I always really liked physics. Being able to look for things on the patient, you know, it's up to you to find it. It's not like getting an x-ray where there's an overall picture for them to look at. They only see what you show them. You, know, you just feel like you are really, in a sense, responsible for giving information to the physician that he might not otherwise see if you don't find it. So if you're a young person looking to possibly get into ultrasound, you know, I would, I would recommend it. It's a very good field. You learn a lot about, you know, the body, human anatomy, physiology, all of that. If that is interesting to you, this is a very good field to go into. When I was in high school, I went, um, I got into photography for the newspaper staff. And then when I was going into high or to college, I thought I was going to go into maybe nursing. In one of the classes that I had, another student told me about this radiology x-ray. It was kind of interesting to think that maybe I could like take pictures of someone's inside their body versus like what like the outside. MRI is magnetic resonance imaging that where it takes an, a magnet and it will align your hydrogen atoms with the MRI with the magnet. There's a huge variety in MRI. Um, there's a day that we do like IV sedation. So patients that are too claustrophobic to go into these tubes or they're too scared. We also do kids. So like some of our kids will give them like movie goggles or headphones. So then that way they can kind of distract them for the MRI. Um, like a cardiac day where we can take pictures of like their heart. You're doing all these brain scans or you're doing all these spines and yes, it's the same anatomy, but each patient is different. So you have to kind of be the detective and you have to kind of be the advocate for the patient because a lot of patients don't even know. So you have to even like go and call like these other facilities and look for operative reports and kind of read through all that stuff and figure out what exactly they put in their body. Imaging panel to answer questions about career opportunities in radiology. First, could you please introduce yourselves and tell us what you do at the hospital? Are we on? Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. I, my name is Matthew and I am a CG tech. I'm Audra, I'm a radiology technologist. I'm Laura, I'm MRI tech. And I'm Deanna and I'm a sonographer. Uh, or ultrasound technologist here at uh, Ascension. So, Deanna, let's start with a really basic question. What is the difference between a radiologist and a radiographer? Uh, a radiologist is the physician who interprets all the x-ray, ultrasound, MRI, CT exams. So, um, the, a ra I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, and, and then a radiographer is actually the technologist um, who is actually performing the exam. And when you when you guys were introducing yourselves, you all shared your title. So there are a lot of different titles that a radiographer could have. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, there's several different imaging modalities, um, which all require different specialties um, in education and things to be able to do. So. Jaren, you have a question from a student? 
Yes, good morning again, everyone. We have a few questions that have already came in during the video. Lots of folks interested um, in radiology. So, you know, I might throw a couple your way here. So first, we have um, Caitlin from Beloit, who is asking, what is the most dangerous part of working in radiology? And what advice would you give for people interested in radiology? I think each modality probably has kind of different answers for that. Um, so I know, like, for a lot of radiology involves using radiation to get the imaging. And so that's definitely a big danger or concern is to, um, your radiation exposure. And so there's lots of things in place to kind of monitor that and then account for that. Um, all the machines have different fail safes to keep them from using too much radiation, but then also the staff wears badges while we're working that monitor our exposure. Um, and then there's guidelines set by like the state and the government to decide what limits you can have of exposure to make sure that you're being safe. With MRI, it's more um, ferrous metals. So not all metals are bad, but we deal with the magnet. So if you have like an oxygen tank that is not an MRI safe one or a ferrous one, it can go in, like say you could have a patient laying on the table and someone bring an oxygen tank into the room and then your patient could die or because, or they can get pinched up against the magnet. Um, there's also things that are implanted in patients' bodies um, that are not all MRI compatible. So you have to make sure and kind of do some extra checking to see what's safe and what's not safe. And another question we have that's come in. So uh, both Hannah from South Haven um, and Hope are both asking, I'll kind of combine these together. So you know, what kind of classes do you have to take? And maybe also what do you maybe recommend in high school are some classes that you might take to prepare you for um, your education as a radiologist or a, 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 rad, a rad tech, I guess I might say. Um, and then secondly, also, how long in college does this take? And then what is maybe the difference if you wanted to be that physician radiologist versus a rad tech? What's the difference in schooling? I'm happy to repeat any of those pieces if I need to, if we move along. So uh, new, uh, yeah, for X-ray for Newman University, it's a two-year program, and so during that two years, you do your um, classes through those two years, and then you also do your clinicals. And <clears throat> for your clinicals, you go to different facilities, and you just kind of go through the the day of the life of a radiology tech, and you just kind of work your um, modalities to see exactly um, what you're going to be doing whenever you do graduate. Uh, for ultrasound, uh, it's typically ends up being almost four years in college. You have two years of prerequisites and then a two-year program afterwards. Um, in college, the first classes they'll require you to take are a lot of like medical terminology, biology, um, the human anatomy and physiology, those types of courses. So if any of those that you could take maybe during your high school years would be beneficial if you're interested you know, in, in this kind of a profession. So. MRI was two years for x-ray, and then you had uh, like at least nine months of extra training. A lot of us anymore have a lot of on-the-job training where you can learn that modality. Uh, like Deanna said, I, I would suggest anatomy and physiology, um, an AMP class. Yeah. Physics. <laughs> And CT yeah. was pretty similar to MRI. It was like a two-year program for x-ray. I did mine through a community college down in Austin, Texas. And then they had another program that was just a, one additional semester to get um, all of my CT classes taken care of. Um, and then same kind of as x-ray, you're doing clinical rotations during the whole time too. So you get really like on the job experience. Um, one of the cool things about the x-ray program is they let you kind of do rotations in different modalities. Um, so like initially when I went into my program, I thought I wanted to do MRI. I was really interested in MRI. And then I got to kind of do rotations in each modality. And I really found for me that CT was a better fit. Um, and so, yeah, it was about two and a half years, um, not including the prereqs 
Whereas being like a radiologist, the actual physician would require you to go through like medical school. So at least four years of medical school and then like your residency. And, and then so, you specialize into yeah. the interventional. Interve yeah. Yeah. Whatever you're wanting. So yeah, much longer process if you want to go the physician route. Yes. So a question, another question that we have is, how do you collaborate with other healthcare professionals on your team? I'm constantly dealing with um, sedations for kids or adults that are too scared to go into the magnet. So we're either dealing with anesthesia, we're dealing with nursing, um, you're dealing with patients that are um, like, also like patient care techs that are on the floor or transporters throughout the hospital. Um, Quite a bit of... For x-ray, we work a lot with surgeons going down to surgery to do your um, CR modalities. And um, so you're just hands-on with the surgeon. CT, we do a lot of work out of the ER. And so you're working a lot with the like ER nurses and the ER doctors to figure out you know, when you can come get the patient. Um, make sure that everything's been done that needs to be done beforehand. Um, if there's any kind of like blood work or testing they have to do to make sure that they're okay to get a CT. Um, so you're working a lot with nursing and doctors in the ER if you're over in that area. And we all kind of work together, I feel mm -hmm. like. Yeah. Um, if ultrasound has a procedure, I have to do a chest x-ray on that patient or um, for MRI, if the patient had any kind of history with metal, working with metal, they want to make sure that they don't have any metal in their body before it. So we just kind of all work together. Well, I want to thank you for joining us and sharing your insight on getting into the field of radiology. We appreciate the time that you've spent with us this morning, and we'll see you down the road. Thank, thank you. you.